Okay guys, so this is Leroy Diesel coming to you with a brand new product. Actually it's not brand new. I've been selling these but strictly by word of mouth and the word gets around the form sometimes and I uh, sold out of these and there's such a demand for them that I'm going to start producing them. And what this is is the Matrum FSU. I call it a Matrum rod and a Matrum is just a cute word. It's Latin for measurement. So Matrum fuel rod, it'll measure the fuel level in your tank. Let me show you what I got here. So right here we have the finished unit. Hopefully we're getting this all in there. Uh, this is the Matrum fuel rod, the Matrum FSU. You, what you do is you modify your existing fuel sending unit that's on your truck now or your Suburban or even van um, and modify it so that this new uh, fuel rod will fit in there and let me put this down I'll show you this one this is a, a used one out of a Suburban and I've removed the bulkhead the pass-through on it but you can still see the ugly wiper board here this is the whole problem if those wear out and the fuel it's exposed to the fuel so over time they corrode and tarnish and whatever else goes wrong with it but this causes your gauge to bounce so if your gauge is bouncing or if you're just getting a, an inaccurate uh, reading on your fuel gauge likely this is the problem so I'm not going to go through the procedure of how to remove this from the tank and all of that. You should have a good idea of that. Um, but when you get it, you're going to, there's a clip under here for the pass-through. You just basically pry that off. You don't really care if you break it. Remove it. And then you'll notice, I've already done it on this one, there'll be two tabs that you'll need to file down. Just get a small round file and file those off. It'll take literally 30 seconds to do that and make that hole round where there's no uh, nipples in it or dimples and so that's about all there is to the old one. Um, going back to this, uh, this is one I had in my hand. It's not wired so there's no wires coming out of it but just showing you the fitting and it'll come with all this hardware when you get it, you're going to pass the fuel, the Matrum, you're going to pass the Matrum through the bulkhead. There's an O-ring here. Make sure that's installed and that'll create a seal there when you tighten the nut down on the other side. You'll have to pass this nut over the wires and down the wire. The wire loom and the connector is going to be there for you to install. Uh, but just pass this nut over that and then tighten this down like you see here. Uh, one thing to take note is when you're tightening this, this is a nylon lock nut and you've got to put a wrench on this side of the unit. Do not just sit there and tighten this thing down while you're holding here, for example. Don't try to tighten it like that with a wrench because you'll actually be spinning this whole thing and turning the wires and you'll destroy the unit. So make sure that this is stationary. So you can grab, a, grab it with a wrench either up there or here and then get a 9 16 wrench and tighten that up. And tighten it till it's snug and it'll create that seal on that O-ring. A couple other things that you need to do is, I'm going to set this down right here this vent tube is usually about this long you're gonna to have to cut that so that it will clear the float when it's all the way up hopefully you're catching all this um, so when it's all the way up just cut it an eighth inch or so shorter than that level that way it will go through also you may have to turn this return line plastic fuel line turn it over and zip tie it whatever it takes to get it out of the way of the float also um, the last thing is the actual return line nipple that comes back into the tank you can probably see that's at an angle it's not 
straight up and down with the Metrum, but it's got a slight angle to it. All I did was take a open end wrench, take take the tube off like like that, slide the open end wrench over that, and then I could it gave me some leverage I could pry against that and just barely bend that up out of the way. And again, that's so you could see if that was straight, it would interfere with that float. And so we want to get clearance on that float. And you can also tell when you compare these how clean this is compared to the original stock unit. And all the electronics are completely isolated away from the fuel. You could run this probably in acid and it would still work. Uh, but definitely any kind of fuel that you would ever want to run, diesel, gasoline, water, whatever, but we're using it for diesel. Um, so it's a great unit for that. And it's a plug and play. So you just plug it in and install it, put it back in your tank, and you'll be good to go. Any questions, let me know. Oh, one last thing is uh, the, the price on it as of now is 145 that's what I've been selling them for and couldn't keep them in stock so I'm going to continue that price and if you have any questions at all as always let me know just LeroyDiesel.com thank you